is the continuation number two of whatever title I put on the first one and, and I was talking about Bruce and this is what we talked to when we were with Bruce about the, this concept of not be, be not willing to go back in the box so uh, what was happening is that uh, whatever I was saying four or five years ago about uh, the past about my grandpa and all that uh, the voice of my mother would say you invent it which my voice took that information coming from my mother for granted and so this part of me that wanted freedom this sunny part of me the voice we, we will call it the, the dark side of the moon so the dark side of the moon was eclipsing my sun again but my sun wanted to shine completely drastically so there were a huge conflict within my box between the dark side of my moon my voice in the head if you wish and the, the, the sun the sun the heart of the sun of me that wanted to shine completely without restriction and there were a huge fight within my mental box and I was a prisoner of that fight at that time and I was a prisoner because I was fully identified to both I was fully identified to the sun and I was fully to the heart of the sun and I was also fully identified to uh, the dark side of the moon to the voice in the head so every time the voice in the head received an information that would reinforce the, reinforce her position she would take it in and she would say to the rest of my beingness uh-huh you see I told you and my son wanted my son wanted my heart of my son wanted to desperately shine and so he, sh he did shine over the voice and there were this amazing conflict and that conflict came out in uh, through tears and through the fact that I couldn't sleep anymore uh, and, and uh, I was able to override both of them over a period of time that that became very clear to me the the both of them when I spent a week a full week with Dale we did some exercise where I would go on the dark side of the moon and then on the, the heart of the sun and then on the dark side of the moon then on the heart of the sun then the dark side of the moon then the heart of the sun through various exercises but that's all we did for the full week and after four days I said to Dale I said but hang on I've always got it I've always had it she said yes of course and I was very peaceful from then on because I was not the dark side anymore I was completely dissociated from the dark side of the moon and I was not the sun either the art of the sun either I was the observer as Eckhart Tolle mentions it in the, the, the passage he has talking about Descartes in his book A New Earth He's, he talks about Descartes and Jean Paul Sartre and the fact that Descartes came with a sword that says I think therefore I am what he was saying he was fully identified to the dark side of the moon I think therefore I am we could even say to the heart of the Sun if we want to but he was fully identified to them it took another 300 years says Eckhart Tolle for another philosopher called Jean Paul Sartre to take the I think therefore I am and say this is the root of the ego the ego being the voice in the head being the dark side of the moon being my habits being my programming and because it's my habits because it's my programming I don't even see them and I'm fully uh, associated I'm not dissociated at all the same as I have two arms and I think the arms are my body well they are not they are part of my body but they are not my body and that's the same for this voice in the head so this voice in the head is part of my body so I ought to hear it acknowledge it understand it is there but it is not me and therefore the minute I am able to do that I'm going to inevitably see the other side which is the heart of the Sun and that's a song from Roger Waters also the heart of the Sun and I'm going to be the observer of the, these two forces and I'm going to be able to use them at will to create anything I wish to create 
Now, you realize the power there? Now, that's exactly what happened to me in the last five years. For 47 years of my life, I had accumulated uh, rotten apples in my bag. Now, this is something I mentioned also in Jean-Paul II Communique. Uh, I think it's at the beginning, of, it's part one, where I talk about the fact that a rotten apple had crossed the net and uh, it was too late for me to do anything about it. They were there, I just didn't know about it and I could not know about it. Um, I am going to change, I'm going to make a message number three and I'm going to take it from there. See you in a minute. Bye for now.